Welcome to another Star Wars Facts video. For this installment, we'll be focusing on the mysterious leader of the First Order, Supreme Leader Snoke. So welcome, and I hope you enjoy the top 5 facts about Supreme Leader Snoke. While Snoke still continues to be a big missing piece of the Star Wars puzzle, we still know some pretty interesting and insightful things about him, so let's go ahead and begin. For number 5, I have that Snoke actually witnessed both the rise and fall of the Galactic Empire, meaning he was around during at least some part of the Clone Wars. This also means Snoke witnessed a lot of the mistakes the Empire made in the war. While it is unknown exactly how much impact he had during the war against the Rebellion, we do know he saw most of what went down and as a result modeled the First Order to compensate for some of the Empire's shortcomings during the war. Number 4. For number 4, I have that Kylo Ren is actually one of many apprentices Snoke has had over the years. Stated by Snoke himself, he has had many apprentices and taught many the ways of the dark side. It is unknown exactly who Snoke has trained, but we have a few guesses, such as possibly other members of the Knights of Ren, or more drastic theories considering even Palpatine himself as one of Snoke's past pupils. Snoke actually sees a lot of potential in Kylo Ren, seeing as he views Kylo as the perfect marriage between the light and dark side of the Force, meaning he can train him to become exceptionally powerful and use him for Snoke's own betterment. Fact number three is that the final design for Snoke was not actually determined until two months before the release of The Force Awakens, with the final design finally being decided on in October of 2015. This is why large amounts of concept art depicting Snoke was wildly inaccurate and some quite crazy with one image actually depicting Snoke as a serpent-like alien and others more similar to the final design of Snoke that we got, although still slightly off. Number 2. Snoke is actually afraid of Luke Skywalker. Like, really afraid of Luke Skywalker. He seems to be training Kylo for the sole purpose of ultimately killing Luke so that there will be no one capable of opposing his reign over the galaxy. It is said that even though Snoke is exceptionally powerful in the dark side of the force, he has also suffered a very grievous injury. This may explain why he is so afraid of engaging Luke himself and would rather have other force wielders do it. For the most part, Snoke appears as a calm, collected individual, but at the mere mention of Luke, he becomes sporadic and enraged. Here is a quote from Snoke involving Luke and, in his opinion, the thing that finally toppled the Empire. The historians have it all wrong. It was neither poor strategy nor arrogance that brought down the Empire. You know too well what did. Ren nodded once. Sentiment. Yes, such a simple thing. Such a foolish error of judgment, a momentary lapse in an otherwise exemplary life, had Lord Vader not succumbed to emotion at the crucial moment. Had the father killed the son, the Empire would have prevailed, and there would be no threat of Skywalker's return today. This quote is of course referencing the events in Return of the Jedi, specifically the duel between Darth Vader and Luke. Preventing the return of Luke seems to be Snoke's primary goal, as a map to Luke was the primary driving force in The Force Awakens. It is unknown how exactly Snoke will react to Luke being located. All I know is that it won't be a happy moment for anyone involved. Fact number one. At one point, Snoke was actually considered to be a female by the filmmakers, but they ultimately decided otherwise. This fact actually goes hand in hand with the earlier fact of Snoke's design not being determined until nearly right up to the release of the film, and has led many fans to believe that when The Force Awakens was released, Snoke's true origins were not even in place, but this is unclear. All we know is that the character underwent massive changes before the film itself was actually released to the public. I find it really interesting that Snoke's origins don't seem to be in place as of the information that we have currently. Hopefully in Episode 8 they will have figured it all out and we can get some answers, because for me it's probably the biggest mystery in The Force Awakens and this new Star Wars trilogy. What do you guys think? So what are your thoughts and opinions on Snoke? Do you have any additional facts? What do you think the Supreme Leader of this First Order is up to? And who do you think he really is? Thank you so much for watching. If you would like to suggest future top 5 Star Wars facts, I would really appreciate it so I can make videos on any topic that you guys would like. In the comments, if you would like to see a top 5 facts video and you see that someone has already put it down, be sure to thumb up that comment so I can tell exactly what you guys want to see the most as far as the top 5 series is concerned.
If you enjoyed the top 5 facts about Snoke, please leave a like, and also I have two more facts videos in the description, one concerning Kylo's unstable and now iconic lightsaber, and the other concerning Phasma and her armor. Thank you so much for watching the video yet again. May the force be with you, and have a great day.